Good morning, Leaf Peepers. It's October 5th, 2023. I'm on Route 16, just below Mount Washington and in Pinkham Notch. Um, once we left Conway and Jackson behind and got up this area, it's not looking too bad. And you're going to hear a lot of traffic. <laughs> so it's something if you're coming up here, get used to it. Let me switch this around. Okay, so looking down the valley, and as usual, you can't see a whole lot of view because the trees have grown up around Pinkham Notch here. But if you look up the hill, we have several visitors who have pulled out on this wide pullout. Yeah, you can see we've got some decent color up here. Okay. So, today's journey is going to be up Route 16, going to head up towards Errol, and uh, maybe even to Dixville Notch, and um, we're going to see what we can see up here. It's supposed to be very pretty. Uh, today's kind of breezy. That's not a good thing. I saw just like a, a huge handful of leaves just blew off a tree down the road here, and when I mean a huge handful, um, God's handful. Yeah, I mean, literally, a, just a thousand leaves just flew off. Thank you, truck. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll let you go. I'll see where I check in next and uh, see what I have to show you. Um, if you've got questions, yeah, get on the website or get on the uh, Facebook page and let me know. So greetings, everybody. It's now uh, about 3 in the afternoon. We're outside Dixville Notch. And as you might be able to hear, I've got water nearby. This is the little flume, they call it, uh, waterfall. It's just outside Dixville Notch, or on Route 26, as you're heading uh, east into the notch. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll show you a little bit here. As you can see, it's quite pretty. This is a short, short little walk, and This is absolutely one of the easier <laughs> waterfalls for you to get to. Um, as far as uh, Dixville Notch was, um, it's still very colorful. Um, you can still see you can see bare trees in, up the hills and stuff, but it was quite pretty. I'll post a few pictures for you. Um, so today, Gorham, of all places, Gorham was quite pretty. Um, Berlin uh, wasn't too bad either, but Gorham actually surprised us with the amount of fall color that was found there. Okay, um, the uh, it was a hit or miss. Milan wasn't too bad. The near hills from Milan Hill State Park um, climbed up the water, uh, the fire tower, and um, <laughs> it, it's a good climb for me. And uh, off in the distance, though, the hills weren't as colorful as they have been in the past, but. I don't think there's too many of you that are going to go, mm. uh, it was pretty pretty. Well, I don't know if that works or not, but hey, um, it's my new word for the day, pretty pretty. And um, <laughs> I'll, we'll see what else we can find during this trip. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, well, it's 6 October, and I'm at Groveton in New Hampshire, and we're on the Groveton Covered Bridge, and uh, if you frame this right, you can get a great shot out of this. Okay, well, so far this morning, we've been on the road since about 7.15ish, 7ish. Uh, got an early coffee from the Elizabeth Inn that we were staying at. Um, they made something a little early for us because they don't start till 8 a.m. But um, got on the road, came down to Route 2, coming across. It was kind of cloudy to start with. The uh, light, the sun was coming kind of through the clouds. So I kind of like that. But several times I stopped. I walk, I don't know how far back, 
to get some wa you know, water shot, the hill, and the light, just lighting it up. And it's like, uh, no, it, it was gone by the time I got there. Jeff is too old, too fat to move too fast, apparently. Um, but it has cleared up uh, so far today on Friday. And um, tonight we're looking at um, rain moving in. Tomorrow, Saturday the 7th, it's not going to be clear anywhere in New England, I don't think. Uh, I think everybody's going to get a dose of the rain. Uh, Felipe is coming in, uh, going up at Maine. Um, we're all probably going to feel it. So we got rain, we got wind. Uh, I'm not sure how much wind. We're probably going to lose a good bit of the, uh, the, the fall colors out here. Um, we're going to have some colorful leaves on the ground. Hopefully, per everybody's conversations, that... Uh, they're uh, happy leaves because they had lots of water, so they'll they'll stay on the trees. Well, that's what I'm thinking. We're staying on the trees. Just say it to yourself. Stay on the trees. Stay on the trees. Okay? I'll see where I report from later. Oh, um, here you go. Let me put you up to the window here. And uh, you can see a little bit of what we're seeing here at the covered bridge. It's not too bad out there or at least right now have a very fabulous foliage day well, it's 6 October and we're at Weeks State Park bet you're wondering why they uh, my camera has where the locations are pointed out because <laughs> I'm looking at the board this is the North Overlook in Week State Pork, uh, New Hampshire. And uh, those are all the places you can see. And now you'll come out here and take a look. You got a fantastic view today. Now this is one of those places where we want to point out to you because everybody asks me, where can I go? Where can I go, Jeff? Well, uh, this is one of the places that's special. It's free. I think there's a house tour and that might cost something. But to get in here, drive all the way to the top, you can uh, do the whole thing. Or you can walk up. We've passed several people who were walking up here. And uh, I think you'll uh, agree that this is well worth your time. It's right off of Route 3, um, south of Lancaster. And... Uh, so other than that, I just wanted to point out Week State Park. Nice place to visit. Okay, have a wonderful day. Okay, so here's my last video of the day. I'm about to die. Or my battery is one of the two. I got to get a charger on it. We uh, made it all the way out to Pondicherry Wildlife Refuge. Walked the one and a half miles out. And uh, I'll let you look at it. It is very pretty. Now, if you have a bicycle, you can bike out, you can walk out, but you can't do a motorized anything to get out here. Doesn't cost you anything. Maybe a donation at the gate. Okay, so we're getting ready to head home to Salem after this. We've earned it. We still got to do one and a half miles back. Well, depending on when you see this, um, hopefully you had a wonderful fall foliage weekend this is columbus day weekend starting today through monday and uh, i know lots of people are heading north i wish i could say the weather was going to be a lot better but it's not it's going to be a tough weekend for most people um, i think new hampshire is going to be the best um, for the weather wise so it'll amount lack of rain maybe uh, good luck have a wonderful foliage day and we'll talk to you again on our next report okay bye-bye